Welcome back to Drunk Dad's Watch. I'm Rick. I'm Chris. And we now are going to be watching episode four of The Patient. Company. Yes. We're getting pretty good. Yep. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Um, it takes a second. It's really easy. It helps us out a bunch. Click, click, click. They're just, yeah, it's, it's a big deal for us. Please. Show some love. Yeah. Um, we like the show. He's seen it before. I haven't, obviously, because I'm reacting to it. So he's giving his insights, and I'm kind of just enjoying the ride. I'm ready to watch this if you are. Oh, yeah. I yes. just want to get into this because last episode was kind of, they threw us a curveball with the mom being involved, and I, I didn't see that coming. Well, the last two or three minutes of, uh, you know, the, episode, the last episode where he drags the yeah body the in. body in. So we're now we're like, all right, well, what the hell's going on with this? So yeah, I can't <clears throat> see what's uh, about to happen. Street. He hasn't really tried to escape much. He, he gave up very quickly. Like him. Yeah, like, well, I got my plastic fork and well, fuck it. It's weird that he was so traumatized by that because it happened again. It's not like he's never seen or like, dealt with something. I, mean, I, I think it's more of the like, what does this mean or yeah, that yeah. Was like. Come on. I mean, because now it's his responsibility to talk him out of doing it over that guy. Did you like being married? Yeah, I did. What were the good parts? When she went with me twice to Kenny Chesney concerts. How's that? That's not a question that you ever need to ask, ever, because they are always awesome. I'm a restaurant inspector with the Department of Public Health. I figured if I told you the truth, you'd write it down in your notes and the police would find it. What's No Shoes Nation? That's uh, Kenny Chesney's community of fans. I've been to uh, 27 concerts and that's that's not even a lot. My friend Shane, he's gone to 78. Jesus. Is that um, country? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, but then what? You're gonna have the mom upstairs. Probably just, just leave you down there. Yeah. You got yourself an Adam situation like you saw. Yeah. That's true. You don't need that. You gotta get him to let you go. It's breakfast. You said to tell you before I did it again. I went there last night and I, I was gonna, I've never stopped myself in the middle before once I start. I don't bring people back here, but you said to talk to you first and so I stopped myself and I brought him here and I'm talking to you, but it is, it is so strong. So I'm about a half a second away from going in there and taking that shit fuck asshole off the face of the earth. Ah. I think he gave him a cup to put his pen in. He is so calm. You yeah. and I talked about protecting your mother in moments like this. Do you think it that didn't work? I told you my father fucked me up. Okay, okay. You need to fix me or I'm gonna... Okay, we're going to try something else then. Let's Let distract you from the feelings that you're having right now. I can't. I think maybe you can. We have to give you some physical distance. I want you to go to work. Just have a regular work day. Think about it. I want to see what he does when he's not around. Like, what is his normal day like? Just lay in bed? Play like... No TV? Nothing. <clears throat> what the fuck is this guy supposed to do? Fuck. Apparently the torture. I haven't seen Die Hard in like weeks. Please let me go. Please. I haven't done anything. Where am I? What the fuck is going on? I barely know anything. I'm chained to this. Can you talk louder? I can't. There's someone upstairs. Oh my god. I've been here for days. This fucking lunatic. <laughs> Well, Candace, I hope she brings the fucking poker down. 
I think he feels terrible, Doctor. Yeah. He really wanted to do what you said. Nurturing that shit, yeah. I, I think you should tell me more about what happened to him, about his father. I can tell you all about it, but I don't think he's going to give you the answer to why he does what How he do does. Know? How do you know? He was always just Sam. I'm here. Who was that? Was that his mother? Do you know these people? I'm his therapist. The guy who has us down here. That was his mother, yes. Who is this guy? Uh, I think I may be able to stop him from killing us. I'm working on it. It's not easy. I don't understand. He's not going to kill you, right? If, if you're his therapist. Well, he doesn't seem to fully respect the patient-doctor relationship. <laughs> so, Richie and Ellen, I need you to get there at 7. They made a big fuss last year and had trouble getting started on time. Poor if Gertrude's is back this year, I would recommend their breakfast burrito. I wish someone wrote a letter like that about me. <laughs> what? The letter that Gertrude's wrote about you. How do you know about that? Kyle reads it to us every time we fuck up. Hello out there? I'm here. I'm scared. I know. Me too. My parents, if I don't come back, if I just, if he disappears, oh, my poor parents. That sucks. I can't see, but my face is gone. I, I can't move. I'm fucking inch. That no, sounds horrible. Are you blindfolded? No. You can walk around out there. I'm chained to the floor, but I can move around a little bit. Yes. What's it like? Uh, there's a big sliding glass door. Yard. No other houses around. Are your hands gone? No. God, really trust you. Can't you knock him out or something? I'm not young, and... This guy, I, I can't just knock him out, no. I'm sure the police are out looking for me, and now with you missing. My parents, they're, they're calling the police, that's definite. My kids, well, my daughter at least would have figured out that I was missing within a day or two. He wants to talk to you. Hello? Please charge phone. Sorry, the battery's low. I forgot to put it on the charger. Okay. I think if you just I'm coming back, I have to do it now. Slow down, slow down. I think that you have some choices that you're not seeing right now. I, yeah, I told you that you have choices. Uh, I don't have a choice. Why don't you understand? I understand. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying that it's possible. Tell me what you have been doing at work today. I just finished a staff meeting. I'm supposed to be filing my assignments, but I'm just sitting here staring at the fucking paperwork because every time I look at Kyle, it gets worse and worse. That's your Do supervisor? It. It is not surprising that this is difficult. Everything you're experiencing makes sense. Grab the this phone. is exactly Grab the point the that I want you to try to push through. Phone. And I know that it may not seem this way, but you are doing very, very well. Just the fact that you are staring at that paperwork Realistic. is progress, even if it is painful. Listen to the doctor. Can you try to meet this challenge as difficult as it is? I don't know. I want you to stay at work until the end of the day, okay? I'll try. Good, and then after work, can you go to one of your concerts, uh, the No Shoes Nation concert? You go to them, right? I'm in fucking California right now. I'm not going to California. I have tickets for Chicago and Kansas City. I gotta go. Church uh, phone. Will you give my family a message? If it happens. Uh, yes, yes, of course. There is Taverna Petrovsky. That's the, uh, the place with the uh, pasticcio and the udon noodles. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my dishes I came up with after I got back from Asia. I was working in the restaurant late one night. 
and my mom, she was at home, so I'm fucking sick. And I was like, what can I make her? I get her to smile. <laughs> so, okay. Mom and dad. Um, I love you. Is that okay? I, th I think that's the main point. Jesus Christ, yeah. Holy oh, shit is good. It's deep. I know this is a little fucked up, but on the other hand, I get it. It's also like, these kids aren't orthodox. These kids can't have it. They had to bring their own dessert. So thanks, Snow. Was the mom a bitch? She was a little rebellious, I guess. Look at that. Brown bread. You might have brown bread. I don't know what it's called, but. You might see the brown bread we used to get in the can. I feel like because they're both butting heads, they both pushed each other farther away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's weird how you just kind of take the back seat to a lot of it. I'm not down? seeing him say anything to the way. Keep quiet. Him say anything. Yeah, you'll see why. He respects rebellion. So that's why I was like, he, maybe he was hoping that his son would eventually, like, come back. Kind of come back and snap out of it. Not necessarily leave his wife, but maybe just not be so distant from yeah. his mother. Jesus Christ, this guy always gets like a small boy. Fuck, fuck, ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. So that he can't hear him? No, because they're going to have a therapy session. Uh, I was trying to get that away. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why he's here. He doesn't want that guy here in his session, I guess. Which is weird because it's that like, if, working. if you want to kill him, what the fuck I'm not so sure him? about so that. that really show his progress. Well, you haven't done anything yet. Yeah. Let's keep trying. You're just going to tell me to go into work every day? It's a dumb idea. All I did was think about it all day long, which I knew would happen. You controlled yourself all day. Because I didn't want anyone to see. This is uncharted territory for both of us. That means we are going to have to... Stop. Wait, wait. Oh, sit down. Damn it, sit this is a good time to keep talking when things are so raw. Did he see you when you took him? I know I didn't see you. No. Maybe on some level that was intentional. You gave yourself the option to let him go as we work through this. This... This one deserves it. You Why? have resisted this impulse with him for a long time. Months? This, Four months? That's this, this incredible. Is, that shows a real capacity to control it. yourself. When I was smoking, even going a week, but that's... Greg? That's a terrible analogy. I can't <laughs> tell that I have to do it now. Stop! 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 Go see your ex-wife. Does she live around here? Go see her. Right now. That sounds strange, but it might give you the emotional shock that moves you into a different space. Talk about your ex. So you have you a genuinely emotional ah! relationship. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Well, I didn't kill the guy in the closet, but I killed my ex. You your current state. Yeah, and anything cool. that you weird. can do to put this off. I don't think he hates it, though. That's get you further away from your impulse to do it. That's what he's saying. It'll... Yeah. You brought me here because I am an expert and I can help you. Trust me. He sounds making yeah. noise in the background of this room. He sounds like the blonde girl from Big Mouth. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> All I hear is, like, what 
I don't want to know what he's doing. doing. Yeah. Oh, God, that's where all the lotion's been going. <laughs> That's really good. Boy. Is he gone? Yes. Shut it, you. Seriously. I'm not doing so good here. I'm just a pile of shit. I know. I'm, I'm really not doing so good. What's wrong with him? Just freaking out. <laughs> Almost there, then. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like yeah. Ding, Andy! Ding, 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 Yeah, I think it did, I did. I think it helped him too, actually. My name is Elias. Elias Petrocki. I'm Alan Strauss. Nice, very good, very good. Oh, okay. So we got another character. Like that. Yep. Yeah. Um, a little more dialogue now for him since yeah, he has somebody. Well, every time the guy leaves, it's not just waiting for the, the mother to come down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that it's two different situations. One guy has room to walk around, all yeah. the other shit. The yeah, other guy is just tied to a yeah. pole on a yeah. chair. Like, yeah, that's good. That's fucking like nuts. Yeah. yeah. In, a, in a closet of some sort. I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, I think he's in a room. I think he's in a room. No, it's, it's a room. Yeah, I forgot what the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I really like that episode. Yeah. I think I like that more than the last one. Well, yeah, the back and forth, and, and even, like, the the call from the job, and the, you know, just yeah, that. Yeah, it was good. That was smart, telling tell him to get the hell out of there. And Yeah, I like how they progress in the character. Um, I like what Steve Carell's doing. He, he's doing the best he can, and he's clearly not in control, and I like that. I, I, I like that he's... You see the the stress and the freaking pain and, and the, just like, how scared he like you really see that with this guy, and I, I really like that. Yeah, you know, he's he's a damn good actor. Well, that's the other thing is like he even said he's like this is uncharted territory for both of us, so yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know if this shit's gonna work, but I'm just basically having you try shit. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's really good. I'm really curious to see who this new guy is. Um, Petraki. Yeah, Petraki. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely looking forward to more. <clears throat> Stay tuned. You be quiet. I didn't have to invite you.